hello. So, I feel like I always say that weird when I start, but hello. Uh, so, tonight I'm going to do a project with the Family Tree Transfer. And if you saw, I, um, I did actually last night and today, I worked on a project with the same transfer to kind of show you like different ways you could use it. Um, this transfer is in the last chance section, so on my website. So once it's gone, it's gone. Um, let's see. So I have like a couple different things that I don't normally use that I'm going to use today. So I have some like heavy paper and everything, but this is the transfer. So it comes with a banner like that. Um, some other little pieces so you could go ahead and you can you know put little flowers on and I'm guessing those are just supposed to be if you want to change the centers of the flowers but so and this one if you look it kind of looks a little yellow to you probably um, simply because I used it a lot so if you watch that other video that I posted you'll see how much I use this. <laughs> I probably did it and washed it and reused it about four times. So sometimes the color kind of stains it, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's still going to work just fine. All right. So this paper I have, this is just, it's actually like a really, I don't know what, what, what it's really for, but it's a really heavy paper. Um, sorry, let me just get this together here. Um, and I'm going to work right on this for a couple of pieces and then I'm going to go and I'm going to do, uh, the tree. So of course, first we want to fuzz the transfer. Now this portion right here, because as you can see, I can't even peel it away here. I've never used this piece. Um, or these pieces. So I want to be extra careful to make sure I fuzz them. The tree, if I were doing the tree on that, I wouldn't even worry about it because, um, you know, it would, it would be totally fine because I used it so many times already. Okay. I'm fuzzing it. All that's doing is just putting a little, putting a little lint on, it, on the transfer especially when working on paper, which it shouldn't be a problem because this is really heavy paper, but if you tried to put this like, you know, I don't know, like on paper, like what you, um, you know, put in your printer, it's gonna, it'll probably like just rip it apart when you go to peel it up. So just a couple of times. I'm gonna be cutting it out. I just don't want it to stick to my table, so. And you wanna, again, make sure you don't have wrinkles or like air bubbles. I probably should have flattened this paper better. All right. I'm gonna do this part in black. So you always want your paste to be um, kind of like cake batter. This is a little bit thick. If you work with it too thick as you go across your surface, it'll kind of just kind of start to dry on you. You'll just have then when you go to peel up your transfer, it'll actually um, kind of peel up the paste. It'll be stuck in the in the mesh. All right, so let's see. I guess I will do this one that way we can kind of. I did flip it, right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like squinting to see it, and I have my glasses on too. I have like the camera just at a little bit of a different angle for me. I can't really see it that well. And it's probably gonna dry pretty fast on the paper, so I really wanna work quickly. Just 
just and simply because it's just I can see it kind of sucking the paste right in there. Okay, and I'm gonna use the black again in a second. So this is really good if um, if you're into scrapbooking, you can um, you know you can use the chalk paste. Um, and transfers with scrapbooking as well. And I'm also going to use this little banner here and the flower. And same thing, I'm gonna let me just make that out of the way for a second. I'm not, um, I'm gonna do the flower in a pink color, but I'm just gonna set it right on the side here. It's always good though, when anytime you're, you know, using a new material, just kind of give it, test it. I didn't, I just figured, you know, if I screw up, I'll just try something else. <laughs> but especially if you were, you know, using something that you know, something that was expensive or something like that. Definitely wanna. All right. And I'm just gonna come right up here. I'm gonna be smart and actually turn it around so I don't put my arm in what I just did. And so this one you wanna be careful because this, you don't wanna stretch it because if you think about this, um, the open area is, is basically, it's like a fabric. So just in the same way, let me just go over here where it's a little smoother. Which honestly, when you see what we're doing with this, it's not a big deal if I didn't get this straight because I'm gonna be cutting it out anyway. See, the paper is very absorbent. All right, so I'm all set with the black. Hi, Jackie. Jack, when are you gonna come over and uh, you know craft with me? So I can see there's a couple other people on, but I can't see who else. But hello. Okay. <laughs> I hear the the delay in the other room there. <laughs> All right, and this is um, peony. All right, let's see. And I already have that flower. I stuck it on the fuzzing cloth. Jackie must have just came and went. All right, and I'm just gonna do a couple of these and kind of um, just pick up the transfer and just do, you know, and do a few. And kind of just see how many I can get. And if you kind of, when you're doing this, as long as you're, you just kind of put the transfer back down quickly and just keep, you know, work pretty quick, you could usually get a couple uses out of it before you need to wash it. And I usually just, you know, stick it right from the middle. Don't try to go um, smooth it out because you'll push whatever paste is on there and make it smudge.
So I'm just kind of using that little circle that's in the middle to kind of hold it in place. And then I'm just, as I push the paste, it's pushing it down. For a small thing like this, you can go and, you know, do quite a few in a row. But if it were something larger, the, um, you know, paste from the previous time starts to dry in the mesh. So, let's see. All right, you get the idea. We'll have a whole bunch of these. Just keep it like, like an odd number. I always feel like when you're doing stuff, any kind of art stuff, odd is better. All right, so we're all done with Don't be like me, clean off the top edge when you're done. I usually just clean everything at the end. Okay. I just clean off my fingers. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this and set this piece aside. So now, unfortunately, because of the size of this piece, I have to um, work sideways. So. Just make sure I have it in your view. Okay. So again, you want to just be really careful when you're peeling off the large transfers that you really, you hang on to them because you don't want them to fold back on sticky side to sticky side. So I think that's kind of like the easiest way to, to do it. Now I know at the top on this side, there's like the little, um, like the hard, the spot where you put the hardware for the cabinet door. So that would be a great place to put a hanger. So I'm gonna just kind of call that the top. So now this one again, because I used it a bunch of times, it's not like super sticky, but it, it kind of doesn't fit, but I'm not gonna worry about it. And there's like a fuzz right here. So if you look, it's like just a little bit too small, but that's all right. So I'm gonna start from the from the center and just make sure that it's all pushed down. And like these little spots right here and here, I'll just kind of clean them up at the end. I'm not going to worry about taping that off or anything. But you could if you wanted to put a piece of, actually you know what, I have tape right here. I should just so literally in front of me. This um, is like washi tape. So it's, you know, it'll stick on paper and you can peel it right back up. So I'm just gonna put it right down here. I'll actually make cleaning up a lot easier. This is good too, like when I did, if you saw the other video I posted today, I had certain parts of the leaves and branches I wanted to use and not use, so I was taking the tape and kind of blocking them off. Alright. If I can get my hands to cooperate here. And then one more piece on the other side. And again, like you don't have to do that, but it's just gonna make it a little easier. And it's not gonna hurt the transfer to kind of like 
push it into the fold. Now I'm not taking my nail and pushing it in there like so that it'll, you know, destroy it. So I just used this one earlier today, so I know it's good. But I'm gonna give it a stir anyway. I actually have to stand up because. So I'll have to go, you know, I don't wanna go slow because it's, you know, it is a lot of area. Um, and I don't want it to dry. And I'm just gonna do the whole thing green, regardless of the trunk. So look at I need to move this up. See, that's why it's good that I stood up. There's a big bubble right there. So you can kind of, you know, scoop out a generous amount because you're going to be, you know, you put back your extra. And if you kind of use more than you need to, it helps it to not dry out as you're working. And initially you leave it thicker because um, it won't dry out as fast. So I'm really putting a lot on here and making a huge mess. And I don't know what I did with my paper towel. I just pressed a little too hard and I made that kind of bubble up there. So I might have a little part at the top that is not going to have a, it's going to have a bleed. But that's fine because you can fix it. just pick that up so awkwardly. I don't know why. Okay, I don't want to go over this too many times because I can feel that there's another bubble right there. fix that. Because <laughs> remember we try to get all the lines off. Oh, see? Try to get rid of those lines. One more swipe. But now, like, if this doesn't come out the way I want it to, it's really, I can come back in and just do a portion of it, too, so. Yep, there's the other bleed. That's all right. So I'll just come back after and fix that part. Oh, and right over there too. But I must not have had it smoothed out just right. All right. Let me get this out of the way so I don't. Give me one second. Oh my gosh, I really got it like all over my hands. I usually only do that when it's the ink. Hello, David. Okay. So, I'm just come in and take these off. 
Actually, the other thing, um, the little flowers I made, I could hide those little spots with the flowers too. Okay. Um, I didn't think about where I was gonna put that while I cut these out. Let's see. Let me just put this if you hear a loud crash, it's because I knocked it off my little plastic drawers. Okay. A little easier. Okay. Let me just make sure these are dry before I. You know what? They're not really. Still feel a little bit damp. Let's try them. I'm just gonna cut this one out because nobody wants to see me sit here and cut all that out. Just to give you the idea of what I'm doing and then I'll finish it and post a picture. This is why I was saying it didn't matter if I kind of, if I had a bubble like in this part, I'm cutting it out anyway. Now, if you wanted to, um, you know, if you made your paper, you know, whatever paper you're working on, coordinate with, you know, what's up? I can't even talk. <laughs> if you made the, had the paper coordinate with whatever color you were making the ribbon is that part that's going to show through. So the only reason I wanted to do the paper, well, um, the whole design didn't fit on my surface by having the banner and the, um, and the tree. So that, and just to give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going to cut one of these flowers out, just so you get the idea, and then I'll cut the rest out after. So here's our little banner. Obviously, you could just go right on your tree and um, paste these. This is why I'm not cutting all them out, right? Kind of just try to do this quickly. I had thought about it using the flowers before. I could have made all these flowers earlier. But it, the flowers were like kind of the last minute. Okay. All right, so our little flower and our little small banner. Again, I want to be careful because I can see that it is still wet. All right. So this little part I was going to use down here. So you could put um, you could put the family's name, or you could put uh, the date 
Then you can just take the look perfect, put the little flower on right over that blob right there that I made, or same thing over here. Then I don't have to worry about fixing the mistake. I feel like I'm gonna touch it and mess it up. So this piece right at the top, right up here, it also gives it a little dimension, you know, try not. Um, so the other thing, let's see, I have like the worst handwriting, but we have these little chalk markers you could write right on here, the last name or the year. Um, let's see, the other, I have little pictures, but of course I can't set the pictures down because, <laughs> because this is, um, this is still wet. So my idea was to kind of place some of the pictures like right on, you know, right on the tree itself, or you could do, you know, depending on how you designed it, you could put the pictures down the sides. Let's see, just kind of on the sides like that however you'd like to attach them. Um, there's a lot of different ways. You could do little clips. You could glue little clips on and clip them on there. But this is my little, my project for today. So I'll finish up, um, you know, the banners and the little flowers and I'll take a picture and I'll post it right in the comments. All right, thanks so much. Have a great night.